Hey everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity and welcome to episode number three of the Raffle Bike Build. Uh, today, something simple, I'm going to go ahead and take apart the carburetor and jet it up to, I believe, 90 uh, for now. Uh, I'm sure I might have to go bigger. I don't know about this particular kit that I got, but 90 is better than the stock that's in there now. Um, plus, I want to kind of inspect to see if any of those red flakes and junk got through there, uh, which reminds me, I also need to replace the fuel hosing and the uh, the fuel filter. So let's check that box and make sure that we, we get those things also. So let's go ahead and take apart this carburetor after the intro. <laughs> All right, right, we have here on the two-stroke 95 Zuma, this is the stock carburetor. I believe it is a 14.5 millimeter carburetor, which is good for the 50, but uh, we should be able to use this for the 70 for the particular kit that I got. Uh, it's not bad, it's in good shape. Um, everything works, you can see it's opening all the way. So let's go ahead and take this off and check out what's inside. First thing we're going to do is take the two screws holding the float bowl. Um, be careful with these because I noticed that there's a lot of these that are out there where the, uh, the, the end is stripped. So use the proper screwdriver and the proper width so that it can come off because if you look these are coming apart but what's nice about these is there's a slot all the way through so you can use a large flathead which I didn't use but ooh look I must have left some fuel in there look how dirty that is God. whoa <laughs> no wonder it didn't work can you see that it's some kind of gross rubbery stuff Blah. anyways now that we got that apart <laughs> we can go ahead uh, there's a screw right here that holds the bar for the float take that off and then gently pull And there you go. Be sure to keep this safe and the little bar safe too. Uh, I personally like to put the screw back in just so I don't lose it. I'm really good at losing things. So we're going to go ahead and take the slow or pilot jet out. Take the main jet out. Let's see if we can see some markings as to what's the size in here right now. Uh, I believe that says 110. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> yeah, it must be a 110. Look how big that hole is. Can, can, I don't know if you can see it. Look how big the difference is between the holes. I don't know. 110's kind of big for a 50C. We'll go ahead and put this. I have a 95. I'll go ahead and put the 95 in here. So we'll keep that and the slow jet. Let's go ahead and take off this. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I got to take my own advice. don't want to strip that out and the funny thing is I've already rebuilt this once but that was before I realized the tank had super goop in it it's probably not super necessary to take this off but we're already working on it so might as well take everything apart there you go 
inspect. This part looks good, but that, that red junk that came out of there was pretty gross. It's probably where most of my problems was coming from originally. Uh, and if you want, you can take this off. Kind of clear yourself up some room to do some cleaning. And take this off. Basically just put that to the side. This comes off. There you go. It's a little dirt. It's actually really dirty in there too. So after further inspection, we look through the holes. I can see through the holes. So what we'll do is we will just take carburetor cleaner. Oh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> take cleaner. and pretty much jet through all the holes. Vacuum line. I don't see any more obstructions in here. So we'll let that dry and then we'll inspect it. This is pretty gross right here. I don't even know what that is. Let me get a brush. <laughs> All right, I had to take it away for a minute and I took it inside and I cleaned it out, but it looks like whatever was in there like was must have been bad because it like stained the bottom. If you can see the staining. Um, I hit it with a steel brush and stuff to get it to clean, but there's no more gunk in there. So we're good with that. After a reinspection of the actual carburetor, other than some surface dirt around here everywhere, uh, we look to have nice clear openings everywhere. Just rub some of these surfaces down. And this int this uh this part that goes into the engine isn't very smooth but it doesn't need to be smooth on this part actually you kind of want it rough here keep the fuel from sticking to the sides of the carburetor so we look good let's go ahead and put oh wait we never cleaned out the jet so looking at the jet it looks pretty good but shoot some cleaner through it and I can see it but you can't uh, looks like we got clear jets what size jet is this if I can even read it 44 that seems big okay well I mean I have 38 in my ruckus it's a little bit different though Okay, so there. The whole thing sealed up and we can always take the carb apart, but let's put the 44 slow jet back in. <laughs> Seems like a lot. And then our 95. Looking good. Let's give this a good wipe down clean this pin so it can move freely float up and down let's check our float make sure there's no holes in it it's not getting waterlogged oops put the pin back through this is kind of a little bit tricky getting this part go in the hole 
and this Barbie the were oh shoot <laughs> oh there you go I can put it around it there you go I learned a new trick there you go lock that down kinda play with it a little bit make sure it moves yay put the float bowl back in correctly it's kinda hard to put it in wrong cause there's a giant thing right there there you go kind of inspect the edges Put it back down, hand tight. I see there's some corrosion in here. Wipe it down. Looks pretty good. It's good. Okay, we'll put this back down right here. This was a little bit tricky because it's got that bracket that keeps it locked down. Backwards. A little bit hard to tighten that one down because the plastic housing on this covers a little bit. All right. There we go. Lock these back down. Tight. Inspect. Everything looks good. Didn't forget anything. And if you want to see what was in here, that is what was in the fuel. So whatever this was was also in the tank. I don't know what it is. It feels greasy but yet chunky. So that's gone. All right. And you have a cleaned out carburetor. Uh, I mean, of course you can get a steel brush and kind of go over this, which I will off camera <laughs> to kind of clean it up a little bit and spray it down um, to make it pretty again. But that was probably one of my problems I had was all that gook inside of there. So here we go. All right, well, there you go. Uh, a simple clean out of the carburetor kind of found a bunch of junk in there so that was a good idea and a good you know it's a good reason to clean out your carburetor every once in a while especially if you're a tuner and then if you have a carbureted uh, bike um, to kind of give back some performance uh, there was a 110 main jet and a 44 slow jet in there which is kind of odd so which leads me to believe someone was messing with the jets uh, on this bike um, so I also have the question of if this bike is still 50 cc or I don't know I don't have a history so maybe someone put a 70 cc kit on it and that's over that because that's evidence that someone uh, already jetted up why would they jet up that high who knows uh, we'll see on the episode where we take apart the motor but before we're done with this one I want to give you an update real quick the fuel tank sealer is dry but not fully cured yet but like this stuff on the edge is like an extra layer of metal or something or skin uh, you can't see inside but it's coated the whole inside of this tank I guess you can kind of see it down there and it's good it's good to go like if you look at the bottom part too where it leaked out of the holes and you feel it it's smooth and tough like that stuff's not coming off so 
this is a good product, this Port 15 stuff. If you have a tank that's not completely dead, but you want to restore it, this is a good solution for you. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed the, the carburetor clean out, rebuild, and jet up. Um, it's going to be a while till we actually get that in the motors to go ahead and give it a start. Uh, still have to install the big board kit and uh, look in the CVT. So stay tuned for the next episodes of the Raffle Bike Rebuild. All right. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video, and I will see you next time. <music>